Let's briefly look at the man who created Coral Castle in Florida. Coral Castle in Florida was built single-handedly by a man named Edward Leedsklin. At five feet tall, weighing 100 pounds and in uncertain health, Leedsklin would be an unlikely candidate to quarry and move the tons of coral that even a robust man would have found impossible to budge. His tools were handmade saws, chisels, chains, hoists and hammers of the most primitive kind and his only mode of transportation was an ancient dilapidated bicycle without tyres. Leedsklin was a fanatic for secrecy and worked only after sundown when he was certain no one was watching him. If anyone did stop by to inquire how he was getting along, he would immediately stop working and chat pleasantly with visitors until they left, when he would resume construction. When we consider that he cut, moved and positioned all of the structure's megalithic blocks in the dead of night, the man's achievement assumes a truly incredible scale. Some teenagers, spying on him one evening, claimed they saw him float coral blocks through the air like hydrogen balloons. But no one took them seriously. If their testimony can be believed, they were the only witnesses to the construction of Coral Castle. He moved the huge blocks by going to a certain point on the latitudinal and longitudinal line, and then used huge springs out of an old Model T Ford to get them floating. He picked up blocks weighing two to five tons in weight by this method. He did it all by himself. The secret here is resonance. When Hurricane Andrew attacked Florida, it came up to Coral Castle and was stopped by the vortexes that are still generated there by the coral. If the vortexes at Coral Castle could do this, then vortexes generated by mankind could do a lot more to help the planet.